uh, a fan who sent by the Facebook of Literaria Futura. She's called Lara Azevedo. Is she here? Lara Azevedo. Maybe she's not here. Maybe, uh, maybe she couldn't make it. Is that you, Lara Azevedo? Lara no? Azevedo. I, maybe she couldn't make it because maybe she was for it. And her question is, as a writer, what's your theme or setting or age, uh, your favorite of writing? Theme or age? Yeah, theme or age or setting. Well, I like I like doing things in the past. I like history. I do a lot of it often. Um, and I suppose my favorite era is the... Uh, is the Edwardian era, turn of the century, I like that. Um, theme, I don't know. Perhaps terror? Terror. <laughs> Bad things happen. Uh, funny, funny and terrible things. No, actually, actually, right, my favorite things are ghost stories of anything. I love ghost stories. So, um, bringing that aspect into it, almost everything is, is the most fun. Yeah. I just, um, written and directed a ghost story for BBC, uh, which I love doing, so I'm happy to do some more of those. So another question from Literary Cultura's Facebook is from is that David Chicago. Tennant? Is that, is that actually David Tennant? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got my glasses on, I can't. <laughs> Maybe if the treaty wants, yeah. He must be very warm. <laughs> So, the question is from Ricardo Andrade. I think it's a normal name, so... Is, it, is Ricardo Andrade here? Ricardo Andrade? No? So, the question is, how do you, do you pick up the scripts from Doctor Who episodes and also Sherlock? And if you already take an idea from the fan using the script, like you wrote a script for Ch for Sherlock or Doctor Who, using an idea that the fan gave you in an event like this. Uh, well, I'll address that straight away. I'm not allowed to um, because there is a there is a very healthy and growing industry in people suing writers. <laughs> Uh, I know J.K. Rowling. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I know that she, J.K. Rowling, uh, has someone when she does book signing, someone who specifically takes things off people and then gives them back at the end of the evening because she she was taken to court because someone said they she copied something for Harry Potter. And it, it, you can't do that because if if someone has a, any idea and then 10 years later you think of something similar, they can always say you stole that from me. So unfortunately, that doesn't work. Um, I, and then in terms of picking scripts um, with Doctor Who, uh, it, it, it either comes from me or from Stephen will ask me to do one uh, about a certain thing. And then with Sherlock, we, we sort of, we decide between us what the shape of the three episodes is going to be and then who is the best fit for it, really. Um, I think I might do one about an overcrowded bookshop in Vienna. It's a great idea. Another one about Sherlock is from Camilla Lins. Hi, Camilla. Hi. Hi. The question is, how was Molly Hooper affected Sherlock to make him different than ACD's origin? A very good question. Um, what can you expect from her? <laughs> what can you expect from her? And her relationship with Sherlock in the next series. Oh, well, Molly is, is a character who's not in the original stories. Uh, and she was just going to be a, a, a one scene character. But so sad, Luke, really, <laughs> who plays the part, was so good. We immediately started thinking of new stuff for her. Um, and. Uh, She's, I mean, she's affected Sherlock because um, he, he sort of doesn't really think about her. He, she's just someone who hands him a cup of coffee every night. He obviously doesn't understand how she feels about him. She's kind of part of the scenario. She's, she's like the wallpaper. Yes. <laughs> when, the, when, when, the, um, when it comes to the crunch, she's one of the few people he can actually rely on. And that having really helped him out, he's never going to forget that. But it doesn't mean he's suddenly going to propose to her or anything. I think he's just going to regard her as a piece of moving wallpaper. So, 
next question is about Doctor Who. It's from Esther, Fernanda and Isabella and they are here. Oh! <laughs> Or expect Peter Capaldi will bring for the new uh, for his new role as Scottish. <laughs> Do you think you'll bring McCoy back? With the accent? <laughs> He's the third Scottish doctor, isn't he? Yeah. That's 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 amazing. I've just thought that. The other one is right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think I mean. Um, Peter will bring his own thing to it, of course. Uh, he's obviously um, he has a different energy. Matt and David both both were very young and very human doctors, very accessible doctors. And I, I think Peter wants to make the doctor a bit less approachable and more mysterious again, and probably slightly grumpier. I think. <laughs> but that's so it's so exciting. It's like having a new box of toys to play with because. You know, you sort of think you know what how the doctor would react in any given situation and every time a doctor changes the rules change so um uh, he's going to be absolutely amazing i've seen a little of his first episode he's absolutely fantastic.